Hello, my name is Roberto Ramos, and for this presentation, I got the opportunity to interview physical therapist Don Hoover. Um, Don is a physical therapist in the Rio Rancho and Albuquerque area. Um, Don has been in the field of physical therapy, working in the field since 1988. However, he's been a practicing physical therapist since 1993. So a pretty long, impressive career, if you ask me. Um, he's been working for a positive approach therapy as a subcontractor, um, but he also works as a full-time practicing uh, physical therapist in his own practice. So that's pretty impressive as well. Um, he has his bachelor's from UC Berkeley in physiology and he got his master's in physical therapy from Boston University, which I heard is one of the top schools in the world when it comes to any health career. So that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, part of what they do at a positive approach therapy where he practices at as a subcontractor um, is dealing with joint motion, muscle strength and endurance, um, he also works with helping people improve the function of their heart and lungs, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, treatments there include therapeutic exercises, cardiovascular endurance training, um, training and activities of daily living, such as helping people improve their daily lives. Um, which is awesome. That's that's part of the reason why I want to get into this. Um, his previous jobs include working in inpatient and outpatient rehab, which ultimately is the type of setting I would like to work in. Um, he's worked in subacute and long-term rehab. Um, so he has just a, a wide range of experience. It's it's pretty extensive and uh, pretty impressive. Um, he's worked for Dimension Alzheimer Clinics, which I had never heard of until interviewing Don, so that's, that's pretty impressive as well. Um, Don has his hands full with a huge list of responsibilities. Um, they include supervising clients' care regarding documentation, communication, treatment plans, supervision with PTAs, making sure they understand the plan of care and that they're executing it well. Um, also working with the New Mexico specialty seating clinic as needed with his clients um, and just monitoring clients for aspiration as well. Um, Don's experience with PTAs is working with them in inpatient and outpatient rehab um, as well as working with them in acute care and long-term care um, also with the DD waiver population. Um, Don's advice for CNM students pursuing a health career is to spend time volunteering and observing the potential health care that they are interested in. Um, ideally, in different settings, that's to gain a wide range of experience. He says to expect competition for entrance into any program. Um, and you must be adaptable to changes that can occur outside of your control, he says, which I totally agree, you got to be ready for anything as a student. Um, he says good communication skills and people skills along with good computer skills, uh, you know, since a lot of things are online nowadays, is super important nowadays and I couldn't agree anymore with him. Um, and finally, Don just says to be eager to learn and just make yourself as well-rounded in the field as you can you know um, the number one tip or piece of advice that I got from the interview is that you have to really open yourself out up and step out of your comfort zone um, when it comes to getting in there and seeing firsthand what it's like working as a PT um, and just exposing yourself to as much knowledge uh, in the field as possible and, and soaking it all up you know um, Don was a really nice uh, man and I'm, I'm glad I got to meet him he was really informative um, and I hope I have a long and meaningful career uh, much like Don has um, thank you very much uh, hope you enjoyed this presentation